What's up guys? Today's video is going to be a review of the Almay Lip Vibes Lipstick Collection. It's been out for a while, but I, it's been hard to find kind of a complete display when I'm looking in drugstores in person. So finally, Ulta was having one of their many sales slash deal things that it feels like they're having constantly at this point. And I decided to buy all of the shades that they had. So I'm gonna be reviewing the three finishes in this collection, as well as swatching the 20 shades I picked up. Now, I realized as I was swatching all of these that I am, I'm still missing four. I think it's one of those things like so many cosmetic companies do where they make certain shades exclusive to certain retailers. So I have all of those that Ulta carries, but in looking at the Almay website, I might have missed either two or possibly four. So hopefully I can fill in those gaps number wise. I have these all organized by the numbers so I can tell you which shades I don't have for reference. But hopefully the 20 that I do have and can swatch for you today are helpful in case you are considering checking or picking up any of the shades in this collection. Let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the review, but if you are just here for swatch, check the description box below for a timestamp for when those start. Um, back to the review, here the packaging these come in is so cute. It's cardboard, it has, it's colorful, has these illustrations on it as well as the shade name on the outside of the tube in addition to here on the bottom. And then it also, if you like to store your lipsticks kind of right side up like this, has a clear top so you can actually see the shade that is inside, which I know has been a long time complaint for a lot of us who like to store our lipsticks in like acrylic storage containers they store like this, but you can't see the shade in the bullet. And if all the bullets look the same, you have no idea what you're picking up. So I do think that's a really nice and kind of thoughtful feature of the packaging. And just overall, it's pretty cute. There are three different finishes in this collection. There are toppers. There are two different toppers available. There are matte shades, and then there are cream finishes. The toppers are totally transparent. They're more like a clear, balmy sort of base and texture. But then mixed into that, you have this ultra fine glittery shimmer that's just supposed to kind of transform your whatever lip shade you're wearing and take it up a notch or a few or transform the colors as well because each of these are kind of tinted slightly so they'll definitely change the tone and shade of whatever pigment you're applying them over. Now the matte finishes in this collection I would actually consider more of a demi matte because I'm actually wearing a matte shade here and I would not consider this to be fully matte like no shine whatsoever. I do think there's a little like a hint of a balm or a texture to it which I don't mind. In fact I think it makes the form formula a little bit more comfortable on the lips than like a very true, true ultra matte lipstick. But just know that if you are looking for a, an ultra matte lipstick, these, those in this collection probably won't be for you. The texture, oddly enough, is almost mousse-like on the lips. It sounds very weird because all of these come in this bullet format, but there's something about when you actually apply it, it just has this really velvety, soft sort of texture that blends out really easily. Um, minimal streaking. I was kind of thinking that that might lead to some streakiness across the more pigmented shades, but once they are all blended out, they stay that way. They don't start separating or streaking across your lips throughout wear. And like I said, I think that light moussey texture makes them a little bit softer, more comfortable on the lips, and more hydrating than your average matte formula. And last of our the cream finishes, like the name sounds, they have a little bit more of a balmier finish. They are all totally opaque though, and I'm kind of at a loss for how to describe them because they honestly just feel and wear and look like a standard lipstick comfortable, but uh, there's nothing notable about the formula that makes them different than any other lipstick formula I've ever tried. You know, they're very hydrating. The formula feels a little bit on the thicker side, but because it has those hydrating ingredients and that pigment, like it's just a standard lipstick, which is good. I mean, it means that it, there's no streakiness. There's no pulling. It's not like a hard waxy texture. Like overall, it's, it's a nice formula, but I just feel weird that I can't point to any one unique feature about it compared to any other formula. Is that weird? The one thing that is different though across the board is the scent and it's not it's not terribly strong. It's like kind of a sweet vaguely dessert smelling sort of situation. It doesn't linger on the lips. So even though I can smell it in the tube, I can't smell it as I'm applying it. I don't taste it as I'm putting it on. And so for me personally, because this can totally vary across everyone and how sensitive we are to certain scents and the fragrances that make those scents, but I am not personally very sensitive to this. I don't notice it a whole lot. And so it's not really a huge factor in how these wear for me. Speaking of how these wear for me though, I find them lasting like between three and four hours, kind of like every average lipstick might on me 
me any ever's lipstick that doesn't promise to be long wearing it doesn't stain the lips or anything so once it's gone like the pigment goes with the finish you're going to notice that you need to reapply pretty much over your entire lip once these have worn away which i don't mind as long as you know that's what you're getting into i think that's okay because they don't promise to be long wearing but just something that you might want to know any to the extent you're looking for something long wearing these aren't them you're definitely going to have to reapply but i do think that the textures are perfect for reapplying and layering up quick and easy on the go okay so i think i have covered all the review details on these if not if i left something out or you still have questions always feel free to ask me or anyone who might know down in the comment section below let's move into the swatches first starting off with the topper shade so there are two there's shade 100 shake it up in this fun yellow packaging appropriately the shimmer in here is more of a golden shimmer like I mentioned earlier it comes in a clear base but you can pretty easily layer it up to be a dense golden shimmer across the lips and what's funny is I think both of the topper shades here look way more apparent and like in your face when you swatch them alone but like I'll, I'll apply the gold right here so you can kind of see how they apply over other shades I think they are much more subtle when you apply them over top of something else like the chunky gold shimmer is not nearly as apparent when you're applying applying it over another shade. You can definitely build it up to give your lips a major frosty finish, but if you don't want a frosty finish and you just want like a little hint of a glint, you can just apply a little bit of this to transform your lip product and make it look a little, you know, a little subtly different without going full on frosty lips. So like I said, that is Shake It Up. Then there is also a gorgeous cool counterpart called Mix It Up. Comes in this blue packaging and as you might be able to guess, it does have a blue shift to it, but it also has an iridescent purpley bluish lavender shift to it, which is absolutely gorgeous. This I do find makes a little bit more of a statement on the lips just because blue is not always a color you'll find naturally occurring on your lips or in lip products. So adding just a touch of it in the center of your lips is so stunning and so eye-catching and can really transform your lipstick in a way that is like fun and interesting, but maybe without being super over the top and in a way that you might not otherwise be comfortable with on a day-to-day -day basis. Although you could totally wear this alone on the lips, build it up and have some really fun iridescent purpley blue lips but you can also tone it down if you want to layer it over your everyday lip color okay now moving into the matte shades starting off with shade 120 or go wild actually the shade that i'm wearing on my lips today this is a light cool nude that has subtle pinky mauvey undertones to it and there is shade 130 or worry less and this is a true dusty mauve kind of similar in depth to go wild, but definitely purple leaning. And so that's what gives it a, the really soft, romantic feeling mauve vibe. The next shade is 140 or Dance Now. And this is where we start getting into the more colorful shades, which I love because as a whole, this collection does them really well. So this is like a mid-tone bubblegummy pink, not ultra, ultra bright, but it's definitely a step above a baby pink, just a nice bright pop of a classic blue based pink shade. If you want something brighter, bolder and more in your face, you might want to look for the next shade, which is 150 or Be Fearless. It is that bolder pink shade. It's a little less on the blue leaning side and more, I would say closer to like a coral pink almost, but certainly deeper and more vibrant than Dance Now. Getting even more into the orange tones, which I absolutely love across pretty much any lipstick collection, this is the shade 160 or Smile. And it is a hot classic orange, like a true orange shade that I feel like so many lipstick collections out there lack. They're always, you know, red oranges or soft cream skull kind of oranges. This is a bold and in your face orange and I love it. Moving on to shade 170 or True treat yourself or starting to get into the reds. And this is a pretty classic, bold, blue-based red. This is the shade that classic red lip lovers will wanna reach for in this collection because this is exclusive to the matte side. Something to mention across everything here is there are no shade duplicates. It's not like they made all of these in mattes and then all of these in the cream finishes. Each finish has its own unique, each finish has its own unique selection of shades. So classic red lovers, this one's for you. Moving into the berries, next up is shade 180 or get crazy this is a deep wine or almost a blackberry kind of shade it's not super deep and dramatic but still has those really beautiful plum tones to make it distinctly like a deep purple as opposed to a deep red okay next shade we are actually jumping up to 200 i don't have shade 190 to talk about here but 200 is a medium to deep 
taupey chocolate brown shade. It's definitely like a chocolate, but it leans more on the cooler shade, giving it those gorgeous taupey undertones. And a really pretty nude shade for medium, deep, and deep skin tones. And last up for the matte finishes is the shade 210 or Never Forget. No. And last up for the matte shades is the and last up for the mattes is the shade 210 or Never Regret. This is a light, soft nude that's a lot more cooler leaning than Go Wild, which is the first light nude I talked about before, and again, the one that I'm wearing on my lips today. In comparison, Go Wild is more peachy, whereas Never Regret is on the cooler, taupey side of things. Now, moving into the cream finishes and starting with a shade that's a little bright is 220 or Live Happy. This is a beautiful mid-tone corally orange orange that's soft enough to not feel like a bold orange, like the orange that I talked about in the matte section, but still definitely on the orange leaning side in case that's what you're wanting to pull off in your look. This is actually a lipstick that I recently used both on my lips and face in a video where I tried to pare down my makeup as best as possible to like five makeup products. So this was actually a multitasker in that video if you want to see it put to use even more. It's such, such a beautiful shade and can be used in more ways than one. The next shade is number two. 230 or Love Yourself, and this is a beautiful deep crimson red. It has equal parts rich red and brick red to give you that perfect combination of something that's deep and has a classic red look with a little bit of a terracotta undertone to it. Then the next shade up is 240 or Call Out, and this is a rich mid-tone nude with cool undertones. It definitely has those cool taupey undertones and actually is a shade that I would kind of put in between Hit Snooze and Never Regret that I talked about earlier. Like it just feels like it fits squarely in between those two if you're looking for something that's not quite as light as the one and not as deep as the other. Moving on to shade 250 or Sleep Later. This I think is the lightest nude in this entire collection. It is subtly pink leaning, definitely still cool leaning, but more so on the pink side as opposed to the purpley blue side. Even though on the outside it looks more like a warm peach, it definitely comes off with cooler undertones, I think. Now this next shade up is interesting. It is 260 or Skip the Gym, and this is still in the cream finish family from this collection, but unlike the others where the sheen seemed to just be coming from the texture of the product itself, this is a soft light pink with a gold shift to it. So the sheen is not only coming from the balminess of the product, but it's also coming from a strong gold iridescence to this that will certainly look more frostier on your lips than any of the other cream finishes in this collection. Moving on to the next shade, 270 or Be Strong. This is another really beautiful, deep, purple berry kind of shade. And while it is super, super similar to the shade Get Crazy from the matte section that we just talked about, it's definitely a lot lighter. So if you want something that's very purpley, plummy, uh, but just not quite as dramatic as that Get Crazy shade, Be Strong would be a good one for you. Okay, three more shades, we are almost done. Next up is number 280 or the shade Believe, and this is the deepest, darkest, plum purpley shade in this collection. And unlike the two shades I just talked about, this is more of a pure purple. It lacks a lot of the red tones that the other ones had where it's more of a berry and pretty much leans fully into that purple with some beautiful rich depth to it. Up next is shade 290 or Girl Boss. This is definitely the sheerest shade in this entire collection, it's this ultra soft baby pink that isn't quite opaque when you apply it. You can layer it up to build on the pigmentation, but even then I still feel like it maintains a little bit of sheerness, but it's still a really pretty color if you're looking for just a little bit of hint of pigment across the lips. And last up, for me anyway, I did have to skip a few shades to get here. I went from 290 to now the shade 330. I'm missing the shades in between there, but 330 is called Rise Up and it's a really fun one because it is a metallic silvery gray shade, kind of like the the shade Skip the Gym that I mentioned earlier where there's a gold shift to it. This is another one where the creaminess not only comes from the balmy texture of the lipstick itself, but also from the silvery shimmers in here too. So it's it's another one where you're definitely gonna get a frosty effect on the lips in addition to that creamy balmy finish. And those are all the shades that I have swatched. I really like this collection. I'm glad you guys steered me in the direction of giving these a try, especially from Almay. It's just not a kind of product or shade range that I would come to experience 
expect from them. I haven't tried a ton of new stuff from them lately, but in my mind, they tend to have like the classics, the complexion products, soft, subdued looks. And so never, if I didn't see Almay, the Almay label logo on these products, would I have thought from the super fun and bright packaging and vivid shades and finishes in this collection, never would I have thought it was Almay. So I really liked getting more familiar with this collection. Overall, I would recommend it to anyone who's interested. They're $7.99 from Ulta, where I picked them up, but like so many drugstore brands, you can get discounts, whether it's buy one, get one half off or buy one, get one free. Drugstores are constantly running sales and deals and discounts on products. So odds are good. You'll be able to find these for less than $7.99 a two. And so to the extent that you were interested in trying them out, I recommend you and, and a shade here caught your eye. Give them a look. I really like them. Besides that, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hope all these swatches were helpful. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.